what is going on guys and welcome back to the Nubin network if this is your first time here thank you for joining i'm your host the one and only Nubin hard and we are back with some throne and liberty i know on our last episode we did mainly character creation so hopefully on this episode which i say hopefully but it should be more content more combat more learning of the game and that's what i'm doing I'm, I'm still learning this game now i did a couple of things um i did some research since our last video and i switched from being a wand user to a staff user so you can think of it more of a battle mage now in a sense but i still going with the dagger so i'm still doing the assassin wizard type of thing but let's get right into it and we're back to having no voice. So the one thing I have heard from friends that have played this game already, I guess max level is like 50. And then you go into end game or in game content. What am I doing? Move to the upper side for the dwarf spy and reunite with some friendly faces. Oh, L Lottie. What happened? Do you have any idea how worried I was? No, not really. I missed something. I know I didn't, but that was very dramatic. Very dramatic. Speak to Clay. You're finally awake. Come this way. Press the square. Thanks to your defeat of King Vert, we were able to fight off the Archeum. The portal in the sky has closed as well. I don't remember what happened. I, literally, I don't. Killed by King Vert when your star fragment went into a frenzy and overwhelmed the enemy. If you hadn't been able to defeat him, none of us would have survived. I'm thankful the Elder protected you ten years ago, so that today we could stand together to defend Wisp Island. Speaking of which, I'm sure you feel guilty over what happened to the Elder. You didn't cause his death. You should know that. Please, don't blame yourself. Ten years ago, I'm going to assume I had to have been at least like ten years old making my character about 20 somewhere in that ballpark are you all right your power it's clearly too dangerous to leave as is when a star fragment's power overloads like that it takes a heavy toll on the bearer's body it could even kill you carrying such a powerful star fragment makes you a target for the archeum too a decade ago kazar and kalanthia invaded this island precisely to steal that power for themselves that power is unpredictable when it's in a frenzy it will hurt innocent bystanders who get too close. I wonder why they're called a frenzy. See, how does my character have animations of like, like correct animations, but no voice? I have a friend named Martine in Castleton, a town in Lastland. She's researching the effects of star fragments. I believe she can help you. Here, take my token. Show this to the storage manager named Melky, and he will help you. All right. When you are ready to leave, touch Luna Zero's head to temporarily enhance your glide ability. That should get you all the way to Castleton. Hm. I wish you all the best. Place your hand on the head of Luna Zero and go to Castleton. So there's nothing I need to do now. I have a voice now.
That was kind of cool. I didn't realize that thing's name was actually Helpy. That's the finishing of the intro. <laughs> Onto the actual game. Turning into that hawk was actually pretty cool in that cutscene. Granted, actually using the hawk was not that easy the first time they gave it to me. I'm assuming it's not going to get any easier. I did play around with settings, looked at them, but there's so many settings. So many controls, like literally every button is used for something. There's no free buttons to make gameplay easier. I probably could, but that would take some time to jot down all the button combinations that could be pressed or whatnot. Not something I'm really interested in doing. Now, if I fall in love with the game, I could definitely see myself doing that. But we're just not starting out, so we're gonna leave everything basic, try to get it get used to the way it is. But there's a lot of a lot of controls, a lot of controls. This is another lengthy cutscene here. I would probably guess there's not going to be too many more cutscenes like this. Mainly due to the fact that this is the intro, so giving us all the backstory. It's still going. All right, looks like we finally made it to our destination. Looks like a thumbnail for me right there. Thanks to the star fragments power, the island is safe for now. Link your Amazon Games ID account to your platform account and receive two exclusive Amitoi? Um, How do you say that? I think I want to do it. All right. So I just took the time real quick to do that. I don't know. I, I got something. I don't know what it was. I really don't know what it was. I can figure it out later. All right. Uh, as storage manager, Melky in Liberation Plaza about Martine. I can talk to everybody. Ooh, that was pretty cool. A little mage there. Other one, Prelude. Island of Starborn. You can choose your final reward. What is this? Is this like Codex? Oh, no. This is actually what I needed to talk to. Leveling log and leveling log players can review the content or rewards that are unlocked according to their character's progression and the tasks that they can access. All right. Speak to Einar Priestess Grace in Castleton. Over here. Thought it was that. Oh, Priestess. Why well, do a lot of priestess nowadays do that? Like a lot of games, they have it where they their eyes are covered up. Wonder is that for a reason? You guys know the the reasoning behind that? Please let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure there's some lore attached to that. All right.
Uh, prelude, you can choose your final reward. Looking for a red flower. I have this. Be good with them. Now, Galati, I already forgot what the first half of the password is. I know I'm supposed to say I'm looking for a red flower. Do you want to make your skills? Do you want to learn a new skill? So, Clay sent you. The second half of the password is whispers. You want to meet with Martinet? Head to the Castleton Infirmary on the north side of town. Say the password, and you'll be allowed to enter. By the way. Many of the townsfolk, including myself, have been brought to help by Martinet's healing skills. Please take care not to let anything happen to her. Keep an eye out for anyone suspicious on your tail, just in case. At first, Murphy pretended not to know anything about Martinet. It turns out she had gone into hiding, fearing the Archean Legion. When you showed Clay's token to the villagers, told you where to go, and gave you the full password. The light fragment whispers. All right, so this looks like the way I need to go. I like the little, like, narrator. That's kind of cool. Kind of like an overview of what you've done so far, or about to do at least. The light fragment whispers. Ah, that's right, light fragment. Speak with my name. I'm pressing. Nope. 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 What are we pressing? Triang triangle or square? Okay. I haven't seen you around before. So what brings you here? This is Clay's token and I. Clay sent you to me because of my research. The truth is, my sister Adriana also suffers from bouts of mana frenzy. I've been searching for a cure. If you're suffering from the effects of mana frenzy as well, a mana calming potion can alleviate your symptoms. I brew one for you, but I just used my last batch of ingredients. And unfortunately, I must stay here for the time being. Let me fetch the ingredients. Then I'll tell you where to go and what I need. Head to the golden she got some big feet. In the golden rye pastures, you'll be able to find some rancid powder. Bring me some rancid powder, and I'll make you an improved mana calming potion. All right. You know how to use waypoints, right? No. If you aren't sure, go ask Priestess Grace. Using them makes it a breeze to return after procuring materials. Now, at the beginning... You look... Your symptoms are clearly getting worse. Hurry. Bring me some rancid powder. Hey, have you been sitting there this whole time? At the beginning, at least the very first cutscene, right? I said I wasn't impressed by the graphics. I'm gonna go ahead and Castleton Infirmary has been closed for some time due to rumors that the Archean Legion was hunting Martinet. It was to trick them into thinking that Martinet, who had worked as a healer there, had left. While in hiding, she is still researching a cure for her sister's star fragment side effects. I'm going to go ahead and say the graphics are significantly better than what I thought they were based off of now and that original cutscene. Unanswered questions, I see. Waypoints are one of the greatest implementations of Venalux magic. They allow you to instantly traverse from one location to another. 
Originally, teleportation was a spell that only the most skilled wizards were able to cast by creating distortions between spaces using the elements of wind and earth. It was the wizard Clay who completed the schema to make waypoints so that teleportation could be accessible to everyone. Anyone can use a waypoint without any special training. Try placing your hand on the waypoints in the plaza and at the Golden Rye Pastures. Afterwards, talk to the resistance officer Ashton. He'll explain the rest. All right. The traditional run around tutorial. Touch a locked waypoint to unlock the region on the map. Use the waypoint on the map to teleport to previous regions. All right. Well then. Lord Hobbs of Laslin resisted Rebel Lupius, who had usurped the throne, but his dominion was taken by the Archim Legion. However, Laslin was freed again by the Founder's Order, led by Captain Da Vinci, and the Laslin Allied Resistance Forces were founded here. Waypoint in a history lesson. Activate the waypoint of the golden pasture, which I did, I thought. Yes. No, no, no. I don't want to look around again. You need to go here. But there's there is a waypoint here. But I haven't unlocked this waypoint yet, so I can't do this, correct? This would be the golden ride pasture, right? And where I'm at is just a regular waypoint. Nope, cancel. All right, so yeah, I think I have to run there. Cause it's not unlocked yet. Am I going the right way? I am now. Oh uh, yeah, so the waypoint's meant for returning. So I'm going to assume, I, like I said, I have to run there first. I have a skill point I need to apply too. Let me let me check that out quick little skill point which I'm assuming just goes here and uh, as you level up your earn stat points that you're going to vest okay yep uh, uh, hold down the square button to see the detailed stats okay yep 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 and next select the stat to increase all stats will increase your damage regardless of your equipped items okay I'm holding down square. However, I don't. Okay. Decide how to allocate your points. You can view each stat's effect before choosing. Okay. Click the apply to finalize. Yep, makes sense. Strain serves as a source of physical prowess, providing strong defense in addition to increasing max health, health regen, max damage, and minimum damage. Okay, so these are, like I said, based on just the character, regardless of the weapons I'm holding. Serves as a source of nimbleness, increased quick, quickness, and critical damage, critical attack in addition to evasion and max, uh, max damage. Serves as a source of mental prowess, increased max mana, max regen, in addition to cooldown abilities and max damage. Serves as a source of insight and awareness. Heightens awareness during battle. Increased accuracy of attack. CC effects. Enhance the time boost abilities and increase max damage and max and min damage. Now, with me being an assassin battle mage, I would benefit from both of these, right? Max health, damage reduction, heavy attack chance, max health. Critical hit chance, bonus damage, movement speed. Yeah, I, I think that's what I want to do. I'm going to 
build into Dex and Wisdom. Weapon, main, damage, offhand, bonus, melee, evasion, range, evasion, magic, range. Okay. And it looks like I can reset if I need to. So, eventually, that would happen. Maybe. If I build it correctly. Which I probably will. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Never, never once said I did. These scarabs just roaming around. I should fight one just to check out the staff's abilities. I have not looked at that yet. I just chose it. Now I'm going back to town, I'm guessing. This was once the most prosperous granary in Laslin, but after the cursed rain came, it became infested with strangely enlarged pests. People tried to solve the problem by employing the power of free wizards, but the free wizards' clumsy magic only made things worse. The Einar Priestess Grace introduced waypoints as a great integration of Venelux magic. Teleportation was a rare skill that was only used by a few wizards. When the wizard clay completed the schema for waypoints, it enabled anyone to teleport freely. So I need to go back to town, looks like, to go ask... Uh, Rancher powers at Golden Apothecary in Golden Rye Pasture. No. Do I use the map now? No. I'm not going back to town. I'm going even further in. All right. Collecting each waypoint as I go, I guess. Oh, I could hide in a pile of hay. How can I help you? So where is the herbalist? Um, do you need something from the master? Rancid powder? Well, I know how to make it, but uh, no, no. Uh, please forget what I just said. I can't. I haven't received the master's approval yet. What if I just tell you the ingredients you need and you can gather them and find them yourself? Collect decomposed hearts from violent harvesters, poison stingers from wasps, and contaminated horns from scarabs. Come back here with all of those, and I'll give you the last ingredient. Then, if you take all the ingredients to Windhill Shores and find my master, he'll make the powder for you. In the apothecary at the Golden Rye Pastures works the always gloomy Oliver, the herbalist's apprentice. Oliver has been right. there for some time. Though he has yet oh, I set it on fire. His master. You've heard that the locals oh. pitied the outstanding apprentice. So there is something. Under his R1 is locked in, okay. Oh yeah, I'm digging that. I'm digging that all day. Can I can I do this skill? Thank you. And then R1 is just a basic attack. Go. I'm supposed to be using that in my offhand though. So I should be mayhand in the, the staff. However, I somehow lost all of I lost all of my I think I need to change that. Can I, can I? I don't know what I did. No clue what I did. 
Because now my R2 is looking weird. I don't, no clue. See, I, I have no skills here. I have no skills in my R2. Did I change something? I'm pretty sure I did. S switch skill page, triangle. Is that, is that what it was? Ah, okay. It's hitting too many buttons. So scarabs, I don't need scarabs anymore. What I need to do though, change to this, there we go. So scarabs I don't need, wasps I do need. Need to be locked onto a target. Nope, this guy. Too far away. Here's the problem. It wants me to lock on to something. Need to kill that wasp. And acquire poison. Oh, I got it. And I died. Oh, I'm all the way back here. The gods cherish. If I hit this waypoint, what does it do? Cancel. So can I just do this now? You can move characters at or a level 30 for free. Cool. That worked the way I thought it did. However, it looks like once I hit 30, it's going to cost me to use the waypoint. I already know how to operate it. Uh, looks like it's your first time using a waypoint. If you place your hand on a waypoint, the schema will be activated and the stone will glow blue. Open your map and select a waypoint activated with blue light. You will be instantly transported to that location. Yeah, I just did it. Once you place your hand on a waypoint, it will glow with blue What is all this stuff I just got? If you open the map and select an activated waypoint, you can instantly travel to that location. I'm gonna put this, uh, okay, well, won't let me do anything but skills. Oh, did I unlock another skill? If you have enough material to grow a skill, the grow skill button will appear. Click the triangle to grow the skill. Well, which one grew? It looks like the one that's all glowy. Yeah, I could grow that. Well, I'm assuming all the ones that show triangle. I kind of want to do like this guy. Kind of want to do this one. Can I do it? Oh, I have a growth book. Each time you attempt to grow a skill, the growth rate is applied. Common, intermediate, greater, special. Okay. When skills, when skill growth reaches 100, the skill level increases. You can check the chance and skill stats as the skill levels increases. Press the growth button to enhance the skill. Got 40% common. Makes sense. Okay.
Okay. I, th I think I'm done with that for now. And I want to add another point into my dexterity. Make me more nimble. Hopefully that means I get hit a little less. Speak with the Mandrake Farmer Farmstead Manager, Ned. Oh, Ned. Oh, Ned's way out there. Is Ned in any of these waypoints? Nope. I'm coming, Ned. Don't mind me, guys, just passing through, you know. You don't see me. I was never here. I also want to go choose that final reward thing, the prelude. I would like to see what that is. Violent Harvester. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Malfunctioning Harvester. <laughs> so that's like your scarecrow that, that went rogue. It's supposed to have kept the fields clear. And it didn't. Now it's just attacking everything that's going by it. Jump, jump. Oh, Ned. Oh, Ned. Welcome to Mandrake Farmstead, where we grow them with love from seed to harvest. <laughs> if it's fresh mandrakes you need, you've come to the right farm. Ned is swole. Uh, oh, my. Uh, I've just run out of roots. Hmm. How about collecting as many as you need yourself? In exchange, you can have everything for free. Free is always a good number. Try harvesting the roots from the mandrakes planted out in the field. Oh, by the way, mandrakes will turn violent when you try to harvest their roots, so be extra careful. That would explain why Ned is so swollen. Oh, mandrakes. Wow. All right. Can I? I don't know why they let me go right away. Like, I was ready. All right, so I'm using the daggers in my offhand, and I'll show you why. Because at least I think it's in my offhand, which if I had to guess, it's probably not in my offhand. If this is one, this should be in one, and daggers should be in two. All right, anywho, so the the daggers have a chance to double attack if they're in the 20% chance to double attack in the offhand. So that's why I'm having them in my offhand and maining the staff. Activate the waypoint of Windhill wind Shores. Right. How do I fly or glide? I'm sure it showed me. I, I just don't remember. It's a chest. Nope. You can gather various crafting materials depending on the weather. You can acquire special materials from change in the environment. Okay. Get my little history lesson real quick. While you search for treasures hidden in ships wrecked by storms and chests that have been drifting, you will encounter the masters of the coastline. From a distance, they look like normal crustaceans, but when you get up close, you'll find they pose a greater threat than you anticipated.
All right. Talk to the herbalist Winston Wilson near the Wind Hill Shores Waypoint. This way? Here he is. What brings you here? Huh? These are the ingredients needed to make rancid powder. Martinet must have sent you. But how did you know about these ingredients? Oliver, that clever boy. How did he figure this out already? He's quite bright. Herbalists have to go to perilous places to acquire ingredients. But Oliver can't even stand the sight of a mere ant. I'm waiting for him to overcome his fears. Well, I'll make the rancid powder for you right away. It must be urgent for you to come all the way out here. But look at me, rambling on. Here's your rancid powder. Planning to go straight back to Martinet? In that case, why don't you try opening your map and teleporting to Castleton? Chapter 1, waypoint on the map, allow you to quickly get to a desired area. Moving to, move to a territory costs money while moving to a base doesn't. To use a waypoint, you must unlock the area through interaction. Okay, yes, this is like third time you guys have told me this. Open a main waypoint and... Oh, whoa, whoa! I'm assuming this is the one I need to go to. Yes, and the waypoint is here. Wait, did that say 4,000? Waypoint. Yeah, it would normally cost 4,000, but I guess it's free. That's crazy. Hope you get like a stupid amount of money then. That's a lot of money. Back to Martinet. Do I have to do the passcode again? Yep. Did you bring the ingredient? Yes. Why can't I talk to you? Control mode. Why is it not? Why is it not allow me to talk to her? You're back so soon. Did you find rancid powder? How are you feeling? Have you gotten any worse? You don't let me answer any one of those questions. I'm glad you're all right. The rancid powder you brought is high quality. I'll make the mono calming potion for you right away. Wait until mana calming potion is brewed. So just sitting here watching this. All right, here you are. Why don't you try it and see how it works? Okay, what's happening? Square. This is this is terrible. This is terrible. There's a collision issue. That it won't allow me to pick up the potion. <laughs> All right, had to stand on the table. As I thought, it's much more effective. I tried to improve the efficacy, but I didn't expect the results to be this good. The calming potion's effect is very effective this time. I need to bring this to my sister right away. But as you know, I'm in no position to be wandering around outside. I'll give the calming potion to your sister. This is the same calming potion that I made you. Please, bring 
Bring this to Mina at Windhill Shores. Only Mina knows where my sister is, you see. Zeroth's men might follow me and find my sister if I go see her myself. Yes, Zareth, the leader of Lazlin's Archeum unit. He's one of the Khazar's top commanders. He wants the power of my sister's star fragment and will stop at nothing to get it. You see, if the power is strong enough, the mana will go into a frenzy. The common potion is controlling your power for now, but you can't hide from Zareth forever. Please be careful. You look so much better now that you've had a calling potion. I hope you... Yep. Mm-hmm. Can I just map it there? No, I cannot. I'm going to have to teleport, though. The effect of the mana calming potion that Martine made was incredible. Soon after you drank the potion, you could feel your magic begin to settle down. Martine who had been researching a way to relieve her older sister Adriana's pain for so long, finally succeeded in creating a potion more effective than her other attempts. All right, so I guess I'm going to this way, this way point. Then running the rest of the way. You can choose your, yeah, I already know, I already know. One exploration codex available in Wind Hill Shores. Yeah, I guess we're just running a little 300 meters. It looks like there's like a lot to do in this game. Once you like complete the campaign probably quite a bit or at least I would think and most of it is all being open world so probably won't be doing it by yourself it's my health and mana in the top left Well, that's pointless. What happened to the dialogue? The news from Mina was unexpected. Zeroth's spies were closing in on Adriana's hideout, forcing her to flee. Martine's potion was still not effective enough to control her mana completely, so she set out to find a way to quell her frenzied mana on her own. Well then. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Now it's a quest to find her sister now, it looks like. Oh, oh, looks like a fight about to happen. Unfortunately, we're a bit late. <laughs> that one must have taken Adriana away. You have a star fragment just like that girl. I won't be going home empty handed after all. <laughs> You dare interfere with our plans? I'll kill you! 
Well. Not about a hair of my chinny chin chin, young man. It defeats the purpose of jumping behind them if they just turn around to. Combat's starting to feel a little bit better. I, I'm glad I chose to switch from one to staff. It kind of feels more fluent. Is another journal? Yeah. Here's her diary. Examine the most recent entry. Someone's presence in my sleep. I thought it was just Nina at first, but then I could tell from the heavy footsteps that the intruder was someone I didn't know. I quickly hid myself and watched the intruder pass by. The pattern engraved on their sword meant that they were part of the Archeum Legion. Just why are the Archeum looking for me again? I can't allow that tragedy to be repeated. It's probably time for me to leave. At the very least, Martinet will be safe. The Archeum Legion attacked the lighthouse where Adriana had been hiding, seeking the power of a star fragment. Only after defeating them did you discover her research papers and a diary she had left behind. There, she had clearly recorded the difficult times she had been through. Alright, so I've unlocked some passives. Which, if I'm right, passives are skills that are activated either A, all the time, or on their own by some kind of condition. Mana eruption. Firing bombs or projectiles with staves or wands has an 80% chance to fire an additional bomb or projectile that does 5% of base damage. Wait. Increases the chance by 0.01% per mana regen. Increased mana regen by 32. Uh, remaining stationary. Remaining stationary for three additional seconds increases mana regen by 32 and magic melee and range heavy attack chance by 100%. Which might not be too hard to do because me being melee. The effects remain for two seconds after moving. Do I get to choose both? Not both, but... Oh. Looks like I get to get three. Okay. Assassin step. Defeating a target increases mana regen by 24 and movement speed by 12. Well, that looks like that pairs up with this. Right? Increases the chance by 0 0.01 per mana regen. I mean, I defeat somebody, I get 24 mana regen. So that looks like a no-brainer with that. What's this? Magic melee and range critical hit chance increase. Okay, I'm going to take this. So I want this, which is down there. I'm just going to put that there. No, I'm going to put this here. And then that regen goes with it. And then obviously I want this one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. These three are all mana regens. Yeah, right? As far as the additional firebomb based off of mana regen, defeating your enemy. Increase my mana regen. And then remaining stationary for three seconds. Additionally, increases mana regen by 32. So, like, there's a lot of mana regen right there. Yep, I'm leaving it like that. Examine the raw iron chest by climbing up the second floor. Okay.
You can rotate the object of investigation by dragging this guy this way. Hold down X where the cursor changes to like a gear to manipulate it. Okay. So like boom. And then oh wait. Boom. Got it. Key. Close. Thank you. Use the key to open up the rock chest. Well, that just makes sense now, doesn't it? New gear. No, no new gear. Just who was Janice Carter anyway? She recognized my power immediately and knew that as long as I possessed it, I would be targeted by Archeon for the rest of my life. She ended up telling me that the only way to truly be free from the Archeon was to leave as soon as possible and find some way to gain control over my power. You found a document which contained details about Janice Carter, someone Adriana had met. Janice, recognizing the strength of the star fragment that Adriana had, advised her that the only way to be free from the Archeon was to leave as soon as possible and find a way to control her power. Yes, what she said. Old chair. Witness events of the past use the affinity will. Archean forces captured Martinet, the younger of two twin sisters, by keeping her hostage. They forced the shaman Adriana, who wielded the power of a star fragment, to call forth the rains. As the ritual began, rain cascaded from the sky, accompanied by crashes of thunder. But the Archean forces had altered the ritual. Their tampering caused a cursed rain to fall on Laslin. Wherever the rain fell, Creatures transformed into violent monsters that attacked people and devastated the farmland. Oh, so that's what happened. Adriana was shocked to witness what she had done. When the Archean forces turned on the sisters, meaning to kill them now that they had served their purpose. The awe-inspiring power of the star fragment that lay dormant within Adriana flooded out and their enemies were annihilated in an instant. I was wondering if they were ever going to give us that story on what happened. In the aftermath, Adriana was beset by unspeakable disfigurations, swallowed by guilt over her role in causing the cursed rain. Hmm. Exit the lighthouse. Square? Well, it shouldn't be my controller, but I'm almost positive, like, there's some issues. Shouldn't have to tap square 37 times. Records of the night. Use L2 and click on the 3 to return to, to travel to Castle 10, then travel to the infirmary. Um, well, let's press L2 this time. Nope, still don't got nothing. Still don't got nothing. All right, we're just going to, uh, you know, do our own thing. I'm pretty sure when they were talking about bookmarking, I was supposed to bookmark something. And that's probably what that was. Or it wasn't an L2 and click, it was down. That's probably what it was. I'm just gonna do it to see if it will clear the quest. It didn't. What is move constantly? Oh, okay. Okay, 
Well, I don't know. I guess maybe if you're traveling very far, you'd use that. Fancy meeting you here, Mina. Yes, I did. After speaking with you, I told Martin about her sister. She left to find a new trip. She asked me to give you a letter. I, If I ever met you, it's over there. Give it a read. Nope. Nope. On the table? Oh, yeah, there it is. Adventurer, because of you, I was able to hear about my sister before it was too late. Thank you. Now that her hiding place has been exposed, Zeroth's men will find this clinic sooner or later, putting the villagers in great danger. So I also decided to leave before it's too late. I wish I could have created a true cure for you. I'm sorry. My calming potion won't be enough to fully control your mana. It's too powerful. But it'll keep it from raging out of control for the time being. I'll focus on developing a proper, long-term treatment. When we meet again, I'll be able to cure you completely. Until then, please take care of yourself and be safe out there. Don't forget that Zaroth and the Archeum Legion could be after you. Yeah, after I just gave them men a thrashing. Don't worry too much about Martin Day and Adriana. They'll reunite. I'll clean this place up. You take care of yourself. Radio. All right, exit. had taken Martinet hostage. Is there someone out there? Can anyone help me? Well then, I received the title. No clue what that title was. Not much time left. Oh, what should I do? The little eight-year-old just chilling out in the middle of the street like this. Something that I desperately need, but no one will even listen to me. Couldn't you find it in your heart to help me out, adventurer? That's sus right there. That's sus. There's a uh, Chris Hansen hanging around the corner. Have you ever heard of this monster known as Iskale the Grey Fang? He was this dreadful wolf that possessed terrible mob essence. Back in my younger days, I almost ended up getting killed by Iskale. The only reason I'm alive to speak to you about this today is that Henry, the Lord's son, came to rescue me and the other children. He heroically sacrificed his own life to defeat Iskale. Whenever I get the chance, I tried to visit Henry's grave in Castleton Abbey to leave some offerings. Last time, I made some gloves for him using the hide of a rabbit that I caught. The anniversary of Henry's death is coming soon, so I'd like to prepare a special gift for his grave. I saw a beautifully crafted keepsake at an old hunter's house once. He said he got it from participating in the wolf hunting contest that is held in Henry's memory. I wish I could get one of those keepsakes and bring it to Henry's grave, but I'm still too young to participate in the contest. You don't mind? You'll really get one of those keepsakes for me? If that's the case, then I... No, never mind. Yep. Yeah. Sus. Actually, it would be nice if I could have two of these keepsakes. Do you think it'd be possible to get two? Thank you so much, adventurer. The contest is hosted at the Lord's residence in Castleton. Go there and I'll tell you can participate. Brother, this way. Come over here for a second. All right, I think that's where we're going to leave it. We just entered into chapter two. So, a little recap. So, I think the combat now feels a little bit better due to the fact I've chosen something that I like a little bit more. So, Based on how you want to play, I think it can make or break the way combat feels. Obviously, graphics, like I mentioned earlier, look so much better compared to what the cutscene at the very beginning looked. I guess that's due to the fact that the cutscene at the beginning was meant to be more of a memory type of thing. And now we're like actually in the heart of it. So that's great. But yeah, I think I think I think this could be a good game. I really do think it could be a good game. I'm enjoying it so far. And I will continue to have more content for you guys. Uh, I do plan on to releasing a video for this game on Mondays. At least one video a week. Uh, if you guys want more of it or the game gets more traction on the network, 
Uh, we'll try to do two videos a week, but I do have like three other games that I'm uploading as well. That one being obviously uh, Thrones of Liberty. I don't know why I almost said Game of Thrones. Pal World, and then another game I'm playing called Neverwinter, which some of you guys may or may not have heard of. It is an RPG, but it's not an MMO RPG. But like I said, that is my time. I've been your host. You guys have been a great audience. I'm Nuba Hard. This is the Nuba Network, and I'll catch you on the next one.